Now doing faux finishes can be a really tedious job. But that's why I like this next finish I'm gonna show you because it's fast and it still looks good. Check out what I'm doing to this garage door right here. Since I can't use faux glaze outside, I've gotta find something else. So this is what I did. I had a Tony down at Sherwin Williams give me this ultra deep base and that is an exterior finished paint. I just had them put only a quart worth of formula so that it dries like a glaze. It has a clear base so that if it didn't have any tint you wouldn't even see it on the wall really but with the tint in it it behaves just like a faux glaze. And I put a lot of latex extender in there so that my open time is a little bit longer. I need time to work that and the exterior paint dries really fast. So I both put water and a lot of that extender in there. You'll find that there is a lot of difference in the way the top coat handles depending on the sheen of the base coat. If I used a flat, it would stick and absorb into the surface. And if it's semi-gloss, if it's too shiny, then it slips around too much. For the base coat, I'm using this Sherwin-Williams Solo Satin. I'm just gonna put some water on here. And then I'll take this. It's this easy. I'm just gonna get creative with some lines here. This, and I'm gonna turn this into what looks like wood paint. I always use a gold, yellow gold hue for the base coat. You can see I, I put in a little bit of lighter areas to a lighter shade. That's just the best color for kind of shining through the top coat after you're done and looking like natural wood. I'm really not doing anything that spectacular. <laughs> Look, I'll zigzag it a little bit. All right. some stuff like that maybe over here we'll go up like this the next tool I'm gonna use is a dry brush this is just the same kind of brush as this one but dry I usually let it tack up a bit before I start doing this the strokes are light really light and you're catching it with the edge at this angle like this you don't want to get it with the tip that digs in too much light and quick like this because you don't want to pull that too much. It'll ruin your texture in there. It's another technique you can use with this stuff by putting wet on top of tacky. When I pull across this, it's going to pull it right off. It's not so much in, it's not so much in how much detail you can get in it, but it's always how well you do the detail. humidity. Kim likes it. She is the homeowner. I love it. It looks great. 